welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, trad cons. Oh, boy. And I don't even know if they're like trad cons. Maybe they're just anti, I don't know, feminists or something or other. And, and the minute a feminist comes out and gives the least little inkling of, oh, I'm, I'm not a feminist anymore. I, I like men for whatever reason. Everybody is very excited. Oh, boy, we get to... We get to claim we we saved a feminist from feminism, and then they go viral and they get all their clicks and their views. Uh, Jeremy at the Quartering, which is a guy I actually watch. I really like Jeremy over there. He talks about a lot of current events. Some of them uh, cross over into my realm. And then uh, po Paul Joseph Watson also did a video on this. And they were like, oh, check this out. Articles are being written about this now, and it's going viral on Twitter for this one woman who's all of a sudden anti-feminist, like feminist, it left her body after going on a date with a traditional guy. They're forgetting one thing. She didn't really let go of anything except one thing. And uh, let me get the right button here. What is that one thing when it comes concern to dating? Money. Feminists will take your money. Feminists will say, oh, wow, I'm, I'm not feminist anymore. And then come to find out when you talk to them, you go, uh, uh, yeah, she's she's still very very feminist. Uh, let's go over this real quick. Uh, this was going viral. This is, and I'm going to play the woman's clip. It's about a minute twenty, and and I want you to hear the overwhelming theme. Does she say feminism's wrong? Not really. I'll, I'll play it. We'll talk about it. Guys, I went on a date this week and I felt the feminism leaving my body. I live on the east side of LA and if you don't know what that means, it's sort of like the artsier part of LA, you know, it's, it's people say it's like Brooklyn and New York. Like, so I go on dates with a lot of men and women. She goes on a dates with a lot of men and women. Do you think that's going to go away instantly? Do you think she's just going to say, well, yeah, I'm not going to date women anymore because, because of everything else that happens in this video? No, of course not. Of course she's not. And who, you know, live over here. There's always a negotiation about who pays, and that's great. I like to pay for people, all that. <laughs> right. But what I will say is that I sort of fell into going on a date with the most guys guy I've ever been on a date with. And he's from West West, you know, Santa Monica. He's a bro I, I don't know about that, but is West West Santa Monica conservative? Santa Monica, California. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't look up any of the de demographics on it. Bro, right? A guy's guy is usually not my type. Like, I cannot remember the last time that I went on a date with, like, a straight bros bro. You know what I'm saying? But it befell me. It befell me in an organic fashion. So I'm on this date with this guy. And the thing about a guy's guy is he's putting his card down. He's paying for everything. I really just... It sort of activated something feral in me. I'm not going to lie. He went to like another bar and he went, he was going to go to the bathroom. So I was getting prepared to pay for our drinks because he's been paying all night. Of course, I'm going to pay for the next round. But as he's going to leave for the bathroom, he turns to me and he hands me his credit card. And he goes, here's my card. Get us whatever. <laughs> it might be time for me to get away from all these, you know, liberal snowflakes on the east side. Okay, so all of a sudden, everybody's like, wow, boy, <laughs> she, she sure bailed on feminism real quick as soon as she met a traditional guy. The only thing I heard her, I didn't hear her say, now, he was masculine, it sounds like. Uh, he might have been a deep, vo had a deep voice. He might have been tall. He might have been attractive. He might have been muscular. I mean, he's a bro's bro, as she kept saying. This dude is a bro's bro. Okay, that sounds like probably she met up with an alpha male. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. And he paid for everything. And he probably slept with her. <laughs> so what did it cost him? 100 bucks worth of drinks and whatever to get in this girl's pants? Okay, now, did that change her attitude about things? Well, of course not. Of course it didn't. Because if you ask her, how do you feel about the border? How do you feel about Bravo Lima Mike? How do you feel about the LGHD TV? How do you feel about immigration? All those are the same. Do you think this girl that goes on this date and maybe hooks up with this guy or starts dating this guy long term or even marrying him, do you think she won't laugh walking out the door taking half plus of his stuff? This is this is a feminist walking around in a 
I like men to pay for my things skin suit. That's what this is. That's all this is. And, and we, of course, we've talked about this stuff, and uh, I, I've warned you many times that women will also of, oftentimes play the role just to, to have a guy pay her way. And sure, this, this woman, uh, there are many times, many times women have said, oh, I went on a date with uh, this farmer conservative guy, and, oh, his politics, and he's so awful, but he was so hot. Yes, that's, that's the mammalian lizard brain activation of, oh, this guy's a protector and he's a provider and he's attractive and boy, is, he'd give me good baby genes. Uh, uh, this guy could be the father of my kids. Yes, that's all lizard brain stuff. But remember, outside of the bedroom, outside of, you know, quickly meeting somebody on a date, you actually have to get along with them. How many fights would, would you be having with, with this chick over the current world events? Do you think she'd vote for Donald Trump? So no, she didn't throw away feminism. She didn't throw away anything else. All she did is she tasted the sweet, sweet nectar of a guy that, you know, goes on a traditional date, pays for things, and is probably a good-looking a good looking dude who's masculine. That's it. That does not mean she drops all her wily ways. Uh, Jeremy here from The Quartering, who, again, I watch. I like him. I'd actually like to have a conversation with him sometime. Uh, he puts up feminist, instantly abandons beliefs after one date with non-soy real man and hilarious backfire. I don't think any of that's true. I I'm going to just play the very uh, first couple of seconds of this. We've known for some time that this modern feminism, that the, what, what it sells is a, um, a, a, a childless, lonely life um, and one that is eventually going to be filled with regret. We keep seeing it getting pushed by mainstream media. You know, we've all, many of you have seen the terminology dink flowing around, right? Now let me just pause here for, because I don't, I don't want the poor boy to think I'm, I'm gleaning on his, uh, on his uh, subs and just stealing his video here. He's right. You know, it, this is obviously being pushed. It's something that is touted to women. It's something that they're being told time and time and time again, just do this, you'll be happy. And then after I read many of the articles I read, you guys see women, once they hit 35, 40, the attention goes away. They realize they have to work another 25 or 30 years until their retirement. They're tired. All their friends have maybe married or moved away with their careers, and now they're all alone. And bada bing, bada boom, crazy cat lady. We see this time and time again. So he's not wrong there. A one minute and 26 second video because you can see a staunch feminist completely abandon her morals and her belief system when she meets a regular guy. See, now that's where I disagree with him. She doesn't completely abandon her beliefs or her moral framework or anything else. She's saying he was a, he was a very masculine dude who paid for my stuff. I had a fun time. Um... I was really attracted to him. I had a good time. That does not stop you from being a feminism, a feminist. That doesn't stop you from believing in all the crazy things that they teach you. Now, as you see here, this was posted. He he followed it up with Libby Emmons, Emmons, and the person I found it from was and wokeness. I went on a date. And wokeness. This thing's been viewed 2.3 million times just on his post alone. On this one over here, I don't know how many times it's been viewed. And everybody's republishing it, and everybody's saying, let's do a video about this. Oh, we owned the feminists. They self-owned. They realize now they're wrong. Guys, what does it take for a woman to realize she's wrong? Wait for it. Wait for it. Accountability. And we know women don't have accountability. There's no point she's going to abandon all the things that have been slowly squeezed into her brain over the last 10 years because some alpha dude took her out on a date and paid for everything and then probably and probably folded her up like, like laundry <laughs> and had his way with her. That's not going to squeeze it out of her body. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Paul Joseph Watson also gets suckered into this. I'm just going to play a couple of quick seconds of Paul. A West Coast lefty feminist was left in a state of utter shock and bewilderment after she went on a date with, wait for it, a man who actually paid for things. Relentless indoctrination vanishes in a heartbeat. Massive white pill. I live on 
See, and he says uh, all this indoctrination uh, disappears. And in, in, no, no, it didn't. No, it, it doesn't. And you guys know this. That takes reflection and accountability and thought and nuance, and they don't have that. But it's not just the, the other YouTubers that are getting sucked in. Conservative U.S., uh, from Conservative U.S., the conservative news. Video, woke feminist dates an alpha male and instantly gets restored to factory settings. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so, sir. No. No. All she's doing is saying he was really hot and kind of a dude bro and paid for everything. And he, he made my... He made my bits tingle a little bit. Trust me, she is exactly the same as she was the day before, except now she wants tall, athletic gym bros that'll pay for the date. That's who she now wants to sleep with instead of maybe some effeminate, touchy-feely soy coffee drinkers. This doesn't change anything as to how she feels about politics or the world or men in general or society. She will cheer and laugh as she walks out the door from whatever dude's stupid enough to marry her, uh, throwing the, the half his money sack over her shoulder. The, not the bee, which is done by Babylon Bee. This East L.A. girl went on a date with a masculine guy and felt the feminine leaving her, or feminism leaving her body. Now, yes, she said that. She may have directly said that. But trust me, trust me. That, and, and this comes from uh, America memed. Homegirl reverted back to factory settings. No, she didn't. Also, what is she eating? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I thought initially this was like granola and blueberries. It looks like she's eating children's cereal with chunks of chocolate. I don't, what, are, what are people eating? Um, they have a meme here. If you want to have a chance with me, you have to deconst deconstruct your toxic masculinity. Yes, queen. Uh, I did it, my queen. It shows him in a dress now, and she's going after Alpha Chad. You're like totally my type. Uh, my type. This stuff is not going away. Let me tell you right now. Now, yes, she's very. I have a misbehaving dog today, so he keeps barking while I'm trying to do this. Um, you can see here, but with her biting her fingers, this is definitely the image of a smitten girl. Is she smitten for his politics? Uh, the fact that he's probably a. Uh, I don't know, a, a man's man kind of thing. No, she's smitten in the fact that he's good looking. And even if he didn't pay for the date, it wouldn't have excited her. But the fact that he paid for the date and was dude bro and was hot and then probably, like I said, gave her a good reaming out. Uh, and, and look, I do this too sometimes. You guys know. Um, you guys know I, I, I do a lot of videos on this stuff, but... Very rarely do I say, like, feminist just drops all of it and turns around and gets reset to factory condition. That doesn't happen. What does happen is women will either say, um, uh, I'll settle for a provider. Um, I'll leave a man that doesn't make me excited and give me the tinglys. Like, there's tons of things that happen, but... Feminism just instantly yeeting out of the bo uh, out of the body isn't one of them. What she, but I will tell you, and kind of as my final thoughts here, what I will tell you is now we have another alpha widow. That's that's really what this is. She went from being feminist to feminist slash alpha widow. She still only now instead of trying to chase after soy boys that maybe are funny and artsy. Now she's going to look look uh, for the guy that's you know fresh out of the gym, Rick, the dude bro, who's fresh out of the gym, that's 6'2", full of muscles, um, and she'll start swiping, even no matter what his politics are. She doesn't care anymore. She's like, I'm not going to talk politics on the date. I'm just going to go out with this guy who's traditional. He'll pay for all the dates. He's hot. He'll fold me inside out. <laughs> like, and then, and then I'll move on with my life and continue on voting the same way I've always voted, and choosing all the bad policies that I've ever chosen. And I'd never marry him because his politics are crazy. And I never will marry, you know, weak, effeminate, lefty dude that is feminist because he's cringe and gross because he's not tall Chad. And what do we have? We got a new cat lady. She's now going to be a cat. She's been ruined by an alpha Chad. And she, now she'll date him and sleep with him like all the other women chase after them. 
and she'll hate them for their politics and everything else. And she'll probably just be like, will you shut up? Just shut up. Please just, just sit there looking really hot. Let's have a couple of drinks. We'll go to a comedy club or whatever. And, and then you can, you know, we'll do the nasty. And then I probably never want to talk to you again because, because I'm a feminist and you're clearly not. That, that's the way I think this is going. So as much as I love you know, Babylon B and I love Jeremy over at the quartering and I love Paul Joseph Watson, they're getting too excited for thinking they've, that, that a feminist has been converted. All she's done is found out how much fun it is to go on a date and get piped out and the date paid for by an alpha chad. That's the only thing that's happened. And now another woman is removed from all these leftist weirdos and they don't have a shot at her anymore because the, the, the last time they hit a gym was probably in fourth grade recess. Uh, guys, I'll leave it there. I'll have another one out for you shortly and we'll see you in the next one. Music